What's up everyone, Jim Davis here. I've got three quick ideas for you today. The first is inspired by this sort of ratty and sweaty t-shirt. It's sweaty uh, because I just came in from a run. Yes, a run. And I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but it is raining pretty hard outside. I just missed it, caught a few drops, decided that was enough for the run and came back. But it didn't change or clean up or anything because this is a really important shirt and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, the first message I have though is register. Just register if you are even passively considering the online powerlifting meet that we are hosting. I think now is the time. Uh, whatever's standing in your way, we will help you manage it. If it's a finance concern, we're a nonprofit organization. All of the proceeds go back to charity. If you cannot, we, you, if finances won't stand in the way. If you cannot afford the entry fee, we'll just waive it for you. So finances are most certainly not an issue. Uh, if it's a training concern, let's talk about it. If it's an access concern, we have a running list of when states are opening gyms and how to safely get back into the gym. And we'll actually be posting that online in the coming days. That's based on NSCA regulations, CDC regulations. Of course, you'll have to abide by the regulations of local, go local government, but it's very possible we're going to walk you through and help you do it. But gratitude, that's why I'm wearing this shirt. When we first started hosting powerlifting meets, what we saw was a really cool and clear opportunity to create positive feedback loops for young people. Sports can be what they call a, a wicked learning environment, meaning you could do everything right, but your opponent uh, bests you, okay, does better than you, and uh, the feedback on your process is somewhat inaccurate. And the example I always use is, you have a quarterback who is all the things that you'd expect from a quarterback, consistent, hardworking, um, you know, takes care of his teammates, uh, sleeps well, eats well, trains hard, all, whatever, adheres to a very solid process. But then that same quarterback goes up against an All-American defensive back, throws three picks, and doesn't get the feedback that would highlight just how good that process was, if that makes sense. So uh, in powerlifting, however, if you work hard, if you follow a thoughtful process, you will improve. There's your clean feedback. Now, you may not set a world record, but who cares? You will grow. If you uh, lift with great technique and intensity where appropriate, if you show up every day, if you take care of your nutrition and you are consistent in the weight room and in other areas of your life, you're going to improve. You can quantifiably, you can track your improvement over time. It's a wonderful teaching platform if we decide to use it that way. Anyway, we, we did decide to use it that way and we, uh, with that in mind, started something called the Illinois High School Powerlifting Association. That association hosted its first meet with two people. Uh, this, I think, was our second meet, it was, second annual, um, with three teams, pretty soon we were at five teams, then ten teams. We now have more than 30 member teams. We have a state championship that is capped at 200 people, invite only, it's always co-ed, um, and it's just become a really, really cool thing. This year we've taken a big step forward and opened up to other states in, in this online national meet, so we're really, really, really excited to continue growing this learning platform. And a key to growing is number three down here, powerlifting, you'll notice that's a lowercase p. We, we use this term, we wanna take the capital P off of powerlifting, meaning we don't want it to be this big, absolute, intimidating thing. What we want is for everyone to be welcomed into the space. If it's a great learning, envir learning environment, if it's, a, if it's a place where you can learn all the most important lessons in sports, then we want everyone to have access to it. Not just the biggest and the strongest and the toughest, everyone should have access to this learning environment. And I think that's what this online meet does. We're gonna have, we already do, have world record holders, sh shoulder to shoulder in a virtual sense, uh, beside first time power lifters, and that's wonderful. The people out there who, who have never competed before or aren't sure uh, they want to stand up in front of a room of 50 to 200 people in a singlet and test, no problem. Do it in the comfort of your own gym, your own garage, whatever it might be. Do it safely, but this is a perfect entry into the sport of powerlifting. We're very excited to provide that for people. Uh, like I said, register today. If you've got any questions, please do reach out. I hope your training goes well. I hope you're staying connected with the strength community, and I hope to see you online soon.